What's up, everybody? Take a guess what I've been fighting all day long. If you got a Tri-5 convertible that needs a top, or any car that needs a top, pay someone, or sell the car. Wasn't that bad, or maybe it was. You can see, here's my new top. I gave it everything I had today. I just did not get to that point. You can see the pads. I got the pads on there. They're looking real nice and smooth. Got the back window in. You can see ripples. Certain areas isn't too bad, but on each side, I, I got to take the um, rear snap trim back loose and and take it down maybe, I don't know, eighth of an inch on each side, kind of pull it towards the quarters. But, I mean, it's this is the hardest part to doing a convertible top is first, you know, you got to get your pads in there, and they require a little bit of trim in here and there. But you got to make sure that back back bow is, you know, on the money. And I didn't have a top on this car. A lot of, a lot of companies, a lot of manuals, things like that it says take measurements of your old one. Well, the car didn't have a top on it when I got it. It's just the frame. So I did some research, and that back bow from the center of the snap trim to that bow is twenty and a quarter. And it can flex quarter inch either way. And it'll still live a happy life. So the back window, if you look at the the molding at the bottom, see a lot of tops that don't have that little strip at the bottom of the back window, but I made sure the top I got had that strip. It's just something different. You know, some tops have them, some tops don't. But if you look at that from left to, to right, that's that's pretty good. That's... That's pretty, pretty well lined up. And these little pieces over here on the side, these, this don't really mean much because your top, your top comes and seals the window off. But you can see the pads, everything's, you know, the bows, everything's real nice and tight. Everything's where it needs to be. So, and the back window's no big deal having to adjust it a little bit more you want it to be tight i mean it's tight but it's got some ripples towards the edges which just you know take the trim stick off the back tack strip off and manipulate it a little bit but at the end of the day that whole back tack strip needs to come out anyways to do the back part of the top where it ties in in the body so we'll get it i I doubt I got anything left to give until next weekend. I mean, I've, I've been out here since probably 10 o'clock this morning and it's almost nine o'clock now, you know, it, it just, it just takes time. And another thing you want to make sure your pads, they're nice and tight. See how them are real nice and tight. You don't want them sagging or anything like that. They're nice and tight the whole way back. So I'm off to a good start. I just need to I just need to play with that back window just a little bit. And then I can take it out again and put the top in. But you can see the well liners back there. Everything's it's starting to take shape. But I don't know if I'd want to do another one again. I mean it just, you know, it you could spend hours and barely get anything moved. But it's getting there. Share, subscribe, comment, and laugh at me. That's fine also. I'll catch you guys on the next video.